Bangalore, India, the heart of the country's technology boom. It's fueled by a demand for hardware and software. Yet for traditional industries in South India, the fuel most often used is the most ancient, wood. Small industries usually operate using traditional and inefficient stove designs. Now a range of specially designed burners for different industries are using less firewood and can even burn agricultural waste. It's not just better for the environment, it's boosting business. Population increase is adding to the pressure on fuel wood and forests are now threatened. Svati Bogle heads a team designing stoves especially for business where the improved efficiency means real cost savings. We were shocked at the amount of abuse of firewood that was going on and lack of concern, apathy, ignorance and we said that we must intervene. She decided to tackle the businesses that use wood and other biomass as a fuel. Basically, we are addressing the artisanal industry sector and we are addressing the cooking needs of roadside uh, and street food people, uh, plus in large institutional cooking. Uh, these are all very skilled uh, people, especially if you go to our silk reeling sites, you find enormous amount of skill, which is not easy to come by. Engineers ensure that the new stoves don't mean retraining a generation of workers, so the stoves are designed with local needs in mind. They can even burn agricultural waste like coconut husk. The three things which we have addressed in the technology is air fuel ratio so that we get higher temperatures. We've looked at good insulation so that we curb uh, losses to the environment. And we have looked at complete combustion so that there is no carbon monoxide emissions. The new stoves can cook the same amount of food as traditional designs, but in a third of the time and using less than half the fuel. The project is getting the message across on possible savings and even cautious business owners are now signing up. At first we didn't bother with the new stoves, but we were encouraged to apply for them. There's a big reduction in wood use and it's easier to work with. Time has been saved. I only use 25% of the wood now so I've made a lot of savings. Roka is now employed here to help with the lunchtime food as she needs the work to help her family. It's not just great for restaurants, going green is benefiting other industries. Textile dyeing demands constant hot water making an uncomfortably hot working environment. The new stoves reduce the heat loss and cut the amount of fuel. Dixit, project engineer for Tide, is there to see the stoves are working according to plan. What happens here is the air and the fuel ratio is being mixed properly. So the consumption of fuel is being reduced. There are three types of benefits. One, there is no smoke. It's not there. Number two, they are able to get hot water faster and so their work has improved. And third, the drudgery in terms of feeding wood into the oven is now reduced. Now with the new stove my health is good and in the morning by the time I come to work the stove is already working and the work is very quick. I'm very happy with the new stove. Entrepreneurs are trained to make and sell the stoves and give advice to local salespeople, small businesses and factory owners. We identify local entrepreneurs, train them in the production of these uh, devices, help them in uh, setting up the supply chain, and then they, uh, we transfer the entire business to them. I was initially trained by Tide. Now I have my own business at Kumara Palama. I'm selling products for the textile sector, like 450 litre water heaters. 450 litres water heater. The potential market for the stoves that keep the heat and smoke out of the workplace is clear, but the challenge is meeting the demand. Our future plans are constantly evolving. We must now concentrate on scale. Go from 1,000 to 100,000. Uh, we need a different institutional mechanism. It has to be factory made and it has to be moved through a well-organized supply chain. We are working towards that. <laughs>